All right, guys. So today we're gonna be going in with our Dust Main Necrozma GX Diagla GX deck. We're gonna see if we could possibly get a victory. We are not going first, and we did start off with a Magnemite, so things are not looking too good to start off. We do have a couple Ultra Balls, so we can get out the Pokemon that we need. We do have an end for some draw support. Guzma, we can probably toss in the discard. Uh, I know we, I do have a few more of those in the deck. Decklist will be in the description for anybody that is interested. It looks like we're probably going to be going against a Dustmane Necrozma or a Sogalio GX deck. Probably. Because I do see a Magnemite and I do see a Cosmox. So, thinking Sogalio GX. But we'll see, guys. Ultra Ball. I'm going to get rid of a Guzma. And I'm going to get rid of an Energy, guys. What do I want to take out right now? I want to go ahead and bring out a Dustman Necrozma right away. And I could go ahead and get rid of both rare candies, Ultra Ball. But that's going to be a big mistake because I need to go ahead and evolve Magnemite in a future turn. So I need to really be careful about what I'm doing here. So, we'll go ahead and Aranguru onto our bench. Our opponent does not have any item cards out right now. So, we'll go ahead and save that field blower. We'll grab two energies with Professor's Letter. Throw one of those energies onto our Necrozma. And we're going to have to hope that we don't get knocked out next turn. So, really what I could do to ensure safety is attached to the active and retreat. But I don't think my opponent's going to be able to attack next turn. I think they're going to go Rare Candy, Sogalio, probably use Sogalio's GX attack, get some energies on their bench. Next turn, I should be able to evolve if they do not end me, and we should be okay. So let's see what happens, guys. Okay, they got their own Dustmane Necrozma GX up on their bench. One energy onto him. Are we going to see a Magnazone this turn? Do they have the Rare Candy? Professor's Letter is up. And it looks like they're going to have a deck that's similar to mine. Normally doesn't happen too often. I haven't gone against Dustman and Crowns my GX for quite some time, which is actually the reason I decided to play with it. And looks like I'm going to be going against myself. Well, it's a little bit of a different variation. So Galio, regular Prism Star. And... Metal Flying Pan. Now, I did forget what that does. They do use Instruct to draw one more card. Metal Pokemon, 30 less damage. Okay. So, he'll be taking 30 less damage. I do have a Field Blower so that I can go ahead and get rid of that right away if I need to. But, first of all, we'll go ahead and evolve into our Magnezone. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So, we're going to actually attach both of these onto our Dustmane Necrozma. I am going to go ahead and use that Field Blower and get that Frying Pan off of their Dustmane Necrozma. I will go ahead, use Instruct before I use my N. Get two cards. Maybe I'll get an Energy, guys. And I do get an Energy, so very nice. I'll go ahead, Magnetic Circuit once again. And I will attach that to my Magnezone because I need to try and retreat him. I'm actually going to use a Sycamore. was going to use an N, but Sycamore came out, so I'll go ahead and use her. And let's see, what do we have? We have another energy, so we could definitely retreat, hit for 60, and get the knockout on the active. But I do want to be careful as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw out Mount Cornet. We're going to go ahead and Professor's Letter. Grab two energy. We're going to do as much as we can this turn, guys, to try and be safe. So we'll attach so that we can retreat. We'll attach to my Rangaroo. And my last one, I will attach to my Dustmane Necrozma. We do not have the Field Blower right now. I actually do have an energy in my discard. Which I did not know. So we'll go ahead and take that out. We will magnetic circuit once more. Put this onto the Oranguru. 
we'll go ahead we don't need the field blower right now so we're just gonna go ahead and retreat and hope that we cannot get knocked out next turn because if we do that's going to be a bit of an issue so let's go ahead 60 damage to our opponent it'll knock him out grabbing our first prize card we do have a guzma in our hand so that we can go ahead and get this GX up and knock it out next turn if we do have that option but we'll see what happens guys hopefully they don't disrupt our hand and things keep going as planned and we can win this battle because things are looking good right now with the dust main and the Krasma GX now we can use Meteor Tempest which will do 250 definitely I mean 220 we have to discard 3 energy or we can use our GX and they will go ahead and use Elm so that oh man oh we do get a sycamore though I do lose the Guzma but we do get a sycamore so hopefully we can get some more good cards up they only get two cards Elma what does she do each player shuffles their hand into their deck and flips a coin of heads player draws six cards of tails they draw three so we both got tails we both drew three cards okay one energy onto the Magnemite and our opponent's actually going to concede so that's going to be the end of that battle guys that's going to be the video for monday remember i'm going to have videos every day now 5 p.m central time tomorrow i will be having another battle video up for you guys unfortunately that one didn't go all the way through our opponent did realize they were going to be behind and they just decided to concede but i really appreciate everybody watching you guys are awesome you're amazing like everybody knows it's jp positive and now I'm out.